Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. And you got here just in time. That's right, just in time to watch me drink my coffee. I know I haven't done a coffee shot in a, a, a long time. It's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Starting this one early. It's about 6.30, 7, coming up on 7 o'clock this morning. Got some cool products. Uh, and one of those products means we got to make a road trip this morning and go to Corsicana, Corsicana, Texas, and spend some time with Helms Manufacturing. <clears throat> They're a participant and sponsor of this edition of Friday's Finds. So let's go to Corsicana. Before we get into this edition of Friday's Finds, remember to click the howdy button down there, say howdy, and post a comment. Tell me what you like best about Friday's Finds. Had a company reach out to me. They wanted to get in on the Friday's Finds action. High Corp said, hey, you need a rug. I said, how'd you know? <laughs> Cause that's what we do. Everybody needs our, well, a rug. So they sent us a rug. Living out here on the sand, we go through the rugs at a pretty rapid rate. This is actually a pair. So we have one to go in the kitchen. And then we have one to go at the entryway. Or actually, there, right in the back of the I like it. I'm going to put this one here in the kitchen. I need a bigger one for right there. Practically perfect. I like that. Now we'll have to pick that up when we pull the slide in. That one we want. That's the perfect size right there. I like them. Thank you. Appreciate those rugs. All right. Let's open this other box. Apara USA reached out to me and said, would you please help us out? And they, they, they sent me the picture of what, what they needed help with as far as a video goes. I was like, well, here, I'll just show you. It's in this box. These are heavy duty, weld on forged D-rings. So they look like that and we have that and these are rated these are 12,000 pound d-rings so with four of these we could pick up Trudy Thunder I, I told them I said that I don't really have because all my tools are packed away I don't have I, I said I can't I can't weld that on for you, but I can I can talk about the benefits on this. That's a heavy duty half inch D-ring rated for 12,000 pounds. Well, it just so happens several weeks ago, I found a fire pit on Facebook market, went and purchased that. And in the process, made a, 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 a new acquaintance who's kind of an old acquaintance. Let, let's, let's walk outside and we'll take a look at this. Please understand that it's been raining for a week. This is the fire pit that I purchased. It, it was It's a very unique design compared to most that are on the market. It's got a very low side wall. It's really heavy steel. Weighs probably 50 pounds or more, but it's extremely well built. And the gentleman that I bought it from is in the metal fabrication business. He's got a whole shop. So when I was thinking about those D-rings, wait, I gotta, I gotta move. We're not done yet. We're gonna move over here. In case you don't know, in the event that you're not aware, I have a tractor. I bought a tractor package. 
when we moved out here to our 10 acres. So I have a tractor. Every once in a while I gotta transport that tractor. So when I bought the thing, I bought a, a trailer to go with it. This is an 18 foot trailer. I can put a lot of stuff on this. Most, most importantly, I can put a big tractor and all the equipment up on it. But when we bought, when I got it, I realized that it's missing some things. Like, how do you, if you wanna chain something down, you, I, I came in and added some tie down points so we can move our our furniture out of the house what i need for that tractor are some d-rings on the side and the only way to tie the tractor down right now is using these and these these don't hold up very well with the sun uh yeah they're, they're rated to haul a commercial load but i'd rather have chains if when I'm hauling equipment, I'd rather boom that down with some chains, but I really don't have any place to attach chains without damaging the frame. I reached out to Keith Helms, Helms Manufacturing, and uh, I said, would you be interested in being on Friday's Fives? And he said, oh, absolutely. So tomorrow morning, I'm taking that trailer. We're gonna go to Helms Manufacturing and we're gonna see how these D-rings are installed. I'm in Corsicana, Texas, hanging out at Helms Fabrication. Whoa, the black trailer's going in the building. That's Mr. Keith Helms right there. Look at here. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk to Keith a little bit. Oh, look, that is just, I love that. That's a heck of a fire pit right there. Put the drain hole. Those are pretty too. Once we have the trailer in, we'll, we'll have a little conversation with the boss before he starts welding. If you need something fabricated. So here's your contact information. You cannot go wrong. You're gonna get to see some of his, his handiwork. I'd like to introduce you to the man in charge at Helms Fabrication, Keith. Howdy. Meet the dude, meet all the dude RV people on Friday's finds. You wanna tell us a little bit about your business? Uh, we started fabrication business about two years ago, building uh, hydrovac trailers and okay. roll-off trucks. And we've expanded to building steps, stairs, any kind of thing out of metal, trailers, fabricate, anything that needs to be done. Like fire pits. Fire pits? Handrails, staircases, just anything made out of metal. You're located in Corsicana, Corsicana Texas, yeah. but you have clientele coming from other locations, oh, I'm sure. Other states, everywhere. Everywhere. Do you provide shipping? Uh, usually, yeah, we need mm. to, yeah. But that would be an additional fee, I'm charge, sure. Course, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if you can manufacture stuff, you can ship stuff, you can transport stuff, so you can work for anybody all across the United States. Yeah, anybody thinks he's welded small enough, we can ship it. Okay. Well, these two trailers we're building now is going to Georgia. Oh, okay. So, we'll, so we ship two the first part of the year, and we'll ship these two. Big or small, they build it all. All right, well, let's let's get some, some work done. Let's, we're gonna put these D-rings on the trailer. Now, these are heavy duty. <laughs> A little bit heavy, heavier duty than the trailer itself. We've already looked at these, but they hold 12,000 pounds. And we're going to we're going to install them on the inside here so we can pick up, weld it to both parts. Re further strengthening that, and it'll make sure we'll have clearance. Noisemakers coming up. Helms Fabrication on Facebook. That is their page. Y'all cover your eyes. Here it comes.
It's a pneumatically driven hydraulic can crusher. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna get to see how this thing works. Look at that weld. Mine would be all hinpicked. Cause I don't do that. We're gonna get to see that can crusher in operation. Don't go away. So Keith, as a professional fabricator, yes. someone who, who does this for a living, what are your thoughts on these heavy duty D-rings that we've just welded in place? A half inch. They're probably gonna hold more than the trailer can hold. They're pretty heavy duty. Trailer's not that heavy duty. But yeah. those are. Yeah, those are extra heavy. So you pretty sure that'll hold my little compact Kubota tractor oh, on there? Half inch, yeah, they'll hold. I don't know what the ratings are, but probably about 12,000 pounds. That's what's actually stamped on there or cast on there. 12,000 pounds. 12,000 pounds. That's what I was Which weighs more. One of those would pick up my tractor. Yeah, oh, yeah definitely. And this trailer <laughs> combined. <laughs> All right, let's 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 see that thing in operation. Go. Okay. Do they all? Do they stay in there? Do they fall out? They stay in there until I dump them out. Slide the bottom out. Okay. I do a little bit of work on that to make it a little better, but. Flow the, flow the trigger action so you get a camera in here. All right. Speed, too. Oh, yeah, control by one, control speed. Well, I'm, I'm just for my Harley to lock on the frame and my mounts to lock on my pegs. Okay, so Keith is showing me pictures on his, his cell phone of a, a bumper mount that he built to transport the yeah. Harley. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do a slideshow presentation so you can see this. It's on the back of a, a, a trailer, a travel trailer. This, this, you gotta see this. So this is a steel lighthouse shaped chimney. That thing, I bet, I bet that's several hundred pounds worth. Of yeah, steel. I pick it up my tractor. I don't pick it up by hand. That's that's cool. Maybe three people can pick it up. So you said it's a drink holder, an adult beverage adult holder. Beverage drink holder. It's a Christmas tree of beers, is what that would be. Or you could put candles and light candles on it. Or a candle holder? That would be awesome. So Keith, tell me about these these super heavy duty fire pits that we you found. We build these out of the rings from our tanks. We build our hydrovac trailers. The bottom surface is quarter inch plate steel. Of course, we just wrap a band of diamond plate around for to keep the fire in. Make them any height, any depth, anything. Uh, these are all 36 inch, so this is what I'd use my cutoffs and build. So, so approximately, you're not, you're not never going to burn them out. Approximately, how much does this weigh? I'm going to say probably 80, 90 pounds. 80, 90 pounds. It's, it's heavy it's duty. Heavy. I know the one that I have, it's got a little bit lower side wall, but I, I had to roll it. <laughs> I couldn't carry it. Yeah, you can't carry them, you roll them. All right. Is there anything you want to say about your... I build your... these angel wing crosses. A lot of people buy them from me, put on grave sites. A lot of people put them on walls to commemorate somebody. I actually lost a little female Yorkie and I built her one and put on her grave site. Okay. I painted it gold for the streets of gold. But I build a lot of these for people to put on their grave sites. And can you do custom? Yeah, any kind. If, if somebody has a, an idea, they can reach out to you and anything, say, hey. I can do anything. I do names, custom names, anything out of horseshoes I can build. Okay, and they can reach you on for that on Facebook. On Helms, on Helms Fabrication Facebook. Helms Fabrication. Yeah. There you go, Helms Fabrication Facebook for all your fab needs. Yep, we're on there. All right, we got to go open another box. Let's open another box. All right, 
I have I have a new a new interest. Changed my diet back at the beginning of this year. That resulted in me losing almost 50 pounds and uh, I've switched from burning carbs to burning fats. But recently I've developed a, a, a deep interest in fermented foods and I've started adding to my diet some vegetable, some fermented vegetables. But it's really hard to find. About the only fermented stuff I can find are sauerkraut and kimchi. I'm not going to go into deep detail about lacto-fermentation other than it's the oldest form of food preservation ever that's that's been used. And it requires some some simple pieces of tech. Some jars, some salt, and some clean water. And the key is not to let the uh you don't want the gases to build up. The CO2 will cause the jars to rupture. And if air gets in there, uh, yeah, you start, you start getting mold and stuff growing in your solution. If you have enough salt, you don't want too much salt. You got to get that right 3%, 2.5%, salt. Uh, and then just keep the air out. And in several weeks, you end up with fermented food. We, I have found the downside is, is sometimes this bubbles over, it burps. And what I'm doing with this is I've just got a Ziploc bag full of uh, brine solution, salt water, that's holding the vegetables down. So now you know the where I am on, on what I'm doing. Uh, that requires attention. So every day I'm making sure we don't have a whole lot of CO2 buildup and just keeping my eye on it. Uh, I'd like to improve upon that. So I did a little little research. Now I've uh, I have fermented for a still. I built a still at one point and did some fermentation there. And there are airlocks that you can buy for that purpose uh, well surely somebody on Amazon has got this stuff available and so sure enough I found this box let's check it out and in this box this is the Gilmo fermentation kit basically so these are actually weights that go down on top of the vegetables to make sure they stay under the water. Here we go. I like how they give us extra gaskets. The gaskets go in here. And then we have the airlock. You put water in here and it becomes a one-way lock. So we put our weight, our veggies, put our weight, and then we put our lock. And we start fermenting. So let me We'll get some stuff clean. I'm gonna clean all this really well. I'll get it sanitary. Actually, with the lacto fermentation, you don't necessarily have to be sanitized because the bacteria you're wanting, the lactobacillus bacteria. This is actually on your hands and in your in the the flesh of the vegetables. But since this all has just come from a factory setting, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it really well. I did baby carrots, jalapenos, garlic, and in this one, baby cucumbers in chunks, jalapenos. Both of these uh, have bay leaves, allspice, and the brine I used was 
two tablespoons of Himalayan sea salt, finely ground Himalayan sea salt. So it's probably going to be too salty because uh, the, the real fine particulates. But anyway, two tablespoons of finely ground Himalayan sea salt and distilled water. I've dated them, 719, so in about four weeks we, we'll, we should have something. With the hairlock, so I don't have to worry about bleeding off the gases. I actually ended up with extra, so, so extra. I had extra veggies, so they went into another plastic. So there's a plastic bag holding the stuff down. The important thing is to keep your vegetables below the water level, so that way nothing will grow on them. Other, uh, nothing other than the lactobacillus. All right, so now I gotta, I gotta clean up my mess. Gotta get it clean before Yappy comes home. This was a fun video to make. I really enjoyed hanging out with Keith at Helms Fabrication. I have since, it's about a week later, but I have since painted the tie down point. That'll keep it from rusting. Makes it look better. He did such a beautiful weld. Very happy. And I know you'll, you'll be happy with him as well. He's just a, he's a good old guy. Good old country boy. Small town Texas. Anyway, we're done. The ferment is still going on. The rugs, very, very happy with the rugs. All these items, with the exception of the Helms fabrication the, the three products are available on amazon and as i as i am known to do i am an amazon influencer and i do earn revenue from amazon purchases i'll provide you and in, and to facilitate that i'll provide you with a link in the card and links in the description below the one on the card will take you directly to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Gear recommendation page. And in the description, there will be that same link, but I'll also include individual product links so you can just go straight to the products if you're interested in getting into fermentation or you need tie down points or, or beautiful rugs for your RV or your home for that matter. Your business is most appreciated. I know the vendors would really appreciate you paying a visit. It helps with their metrics on Amazon if you just click those links and go see their products. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps with that YouTube algorithm thing. The like, the subscribe, any activity, post a comment, just say howdy. That, that really helps with the, the, the YouTube algorithm. Used to be easy to... Anyway, we don't need to go down that path. And for those of you who have already clicked on that button, thank you so much. I really appreciate you spending your time and attention with me. I am most appreciative of that. And for our patrons, we're so grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?